Taurus, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you see it is when you are meant to. Um, I've been gone for a while, but I'm back again. So let's dive right in here, Taurus, and see what's coming up with Bria in love, okay? So I am recording this, um, well, somebody wants to talk to you here. That came out really quick, Ace of Swords. Um, yeah, I am recording this just at the beginning of April here, Taurus, so... Um, again, it is timeless, so whenever you see this is when you're, you're meant to see these uh, messages, okay? So we're going to pull the current energy and love, um, and then we're going to pull the future as well as some advice, okay? So if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, if you're new, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, talk to me, I talk back. Uh, somebody obviously wants to talk to you with this Ace of Swords could be a new beginning uh, that has just taken place or it's just about to because this again is your current energy here for us for Taurus and love three more cards please for Taurus and love could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius not necessarily so but let's take a look here for Taurus Ooh, so this guy flipped too um Okay, so Queen of Swords. Someone has determined energy here. They're very in their thoughts, in their head. Um, this is a fighter. I always see this as the unfinished business card. Um, but this is someone who's ready to take what they want here, okay, with that Queen of Swords energy. We've got the Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the King of Wands, and we've got the Magician. Woo! Taurus, somebody has romantic feelings, somebody is feeling incredibly passionate, sees you as sexy, confident, there's a little bit of envy here, somebody wants to talk to you, okay, they've been thinking about you, they've been on the mind, uh, you've been on their mind, they want to start a new beginning here. Um, take the energies how they resonate. It could be vice versa as well. We also have the magician that came out. So they think that you are the full package here. You check all the boxes. Um, you could be somebody who's in the spotlight uh, somebody, or somebody who just has a lot of admirers here. This person may feel like they literally need to fight to get your attention. Um... <laughs> Somebody's really into you here, but I'm going to clarify these energies and, and see what's going on. But there is somebody who is really attracted to you here. Can we clarify the magician, please, for Taurus in regards to love and the current energies? Clarify the magician. Yeah. Woo! We got the empress clarifying the magician here. Yeah, they think you're super sexy, okay? They feel like you are a catch. It could be the other way around. Again, take it out, resonates. But they feel like you are a catch. They feel like you are, like, just gorgeous. Male or female, you are the whole package here. Very sexy, very attractive. The way you dress, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you smell, everything, okay? Even if they're looking at you just on social media, all your pictures are just like breathtaking is what I'm hearing here okay the magician signifies the whole package here in regards to attraction especially clarified by that empress that this is a very very serious attraction like this is not a flighty attraction this person feels like you are based off of looks alone this person feels like you are their person in regards to how you are physically okay they think you are perfect. The way you look is perfect, okay? All right. And Taurus is big on looks too. So they, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You guys are a little superficial in that sense. So with the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles, okay, so I do sexual magic readings, sexual tarot. I don't know if you guys, if you're returning, you know. If you're not, if you're new, you don't know. Um, but the King of Pentacles is about stability. The King of Pentacles wants commitment. Sexually, this is the Wine, Dine, and 69 card. Um, this person may come to you and ask you for a date. They may 
want to do something a little more intimate, like at home, have some drinks, have some wine, have some dinner. Um, this person is an intellectual as well, very sensual. Um, they're going to want to talk you into bed, okay, is what I'm getting here for talking sexual energy. Um, this is the type of person who likes to take their time. They're very methodical. Um, they're going to want to... Uh, they're going to want to start something with you here, okay? And I think you're going to like their energy. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands here. So they're coming in confident. This is a really fucking fiery reading. They're coming in confident, or they see you as confident. They see, they're very, they're very, <laughs> they're very attracted to you here. Physically, very attractive. But we also have the Knight of Cups as well. So there is a romantic energy in the current energy. If this person hasn't come towards you yet, they're coming. Yeah, I, I feel like they haven't come yet because I have the bottom of the deck, the sun. Whose reading is this? Like, this is wild. Okay, so, and we have the king of wands here. Yeah, so this person, I feel like, hasn't made an offer yet. I feel like they're still watching you, um, but their, their intention is to come forward here. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. They're gravitating towards you. They're, they're trying to... They're trying to pick up on your energy is what I'm getting here. They're watching you and they're trying to, to understand what your energy is about before they approach. They want to match. They want to match you and approach with the same energy, the same warm energy here. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. Uh, not necessarily so, but I feel like this person is, they're very attracted to you here. Um, <laughs> but they're going to watch you for a little bit before they come in. They're trying to learn more about you is what I'm getting here before they actually approach. Can I buy this King of Wands, please? The King of Wands, please? For Taurus. And this person. Wow, like, this, I don't know if it's spring or what it is, but I'm picking up so much sexual energy from, like, all the readings. There was only a couple readings that I've done that didn't really have that, but, like, um, you guys, Scorpio had big sexual energy. Um, Leo, look at this, King of Wands with the moon, bottom of the deck, devil energy, could be dealing with a freaking Capricorn here, but I have, like, ugh, devil has been coming out so much, I feel like people are really becoming fixated on the people that they're interested in, but yeah, so, <laughs> could be dealing with a Pisces as well, um, Sagittarius energy here, so, <laughs> this this person they're keeping it a secret they're keeping it a secret I don't they're not coming forward yet like I said we have that page of um the page of swords there we've got the moon okay very attracted it's like they're watching you from afar they're envious of you they see how beautiful you are um how much uh, good energy, sexual energy you radiate and they're just watching. They're kind of standing in the shadows waiting for the perfect time to strike. But I've got news for you here, Taurus. You are on their mind constantly. It's wild. It's wild. Okay, so I'm going to clear this table and then we're going to pull the future energy. Okay, and we're going to see how this is going to pan out because I mean, for some of you, this person may have just approached you, okay? Like, just approached you. Um, but for others, they're about to approach you, okay? They haven't yet, but they're, they have come, they have decided that they're coming forward with an offer. But clarified with that page of swords, they're delaying just a little bit longer, but they are coming. There's going to be communication. They're going to talk to you, okay? They... They want you. They want you, Taurus. Okay, let's get the future energy. I'm going to call like two weeks, a week, to see when this will pan out um, for the future energy between Taurus and this person. Four cards, please, for the future energy. So the Knight of Pence flipped. One more card, please, for the future energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician again. Okay. 
So this person is really trying to manifest you, manifest a new beginning with you, manifest something with you here. We've got the High Priestess, Pisces Energy, the Six of Cups. We've got Scorpio Energy. We've got the Queen of Swords again. Did we have it earlier? Maybe that was my last reading. And we've got the, um, yes, yeah, so Knight of Pentacles. We've got the High Priestess. We've got the Six of Cups. And we've got the Queen of Swords. So determination, heavy on the mind. Um very dreamy energy about here, especially with this high priestess. Um, I feel like they're trying to follow their intuition. They want to come forward here with this Knight of Pentacles in a very serious manner. Um, they want to show you that they are committed to getting this connection rolling. Um, look, under the Magician, the Ace of Cups here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to clarify these cards and then see what... What is what here for sure? Can you clarify this um, Queen of Swords, please, for Taurus? Okay. Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Cups. Judgment. Clarify the um, High Priestess. chariot clarify the knight of pentacles here for taurus please the two of wands okay all righty so and then bottom of the deck we have the ace of pents okay so this person is manifesting a new physical beginning here Okay, there's sexual energy between you. They're very attracted to you. I think this person wants a relationship as well. Um, I'm picking that up that this is your energy. Okay, I feel like Taurus, you might come off a little bit cold or reserved, not really letting them know any emotion of how you're feeling or you're not really giving off a, a very sexual vibe either is what I'm getting here. I feel like this is your energy because in the current energy of who's coming towards you, they are on fire for you, okay? So I feel like this is your energy here, Taurus, where you're kind of just holding back, kind of reading the situation, really in your mind, not really in your heart. You're trying to figure out what this person's intentions are. I think because they're coming in um, with such a heavy energy of being so attracted to you, I feel like you're going to throw your guard up a little bit um, just to make sure that they're not coming in just for sex is what I'm getting here. I don't believe this person is. I think that you should definitely let your guard down a bit because I feel like if you repel this person, this person might, they might just back off a little bit, okay? They already feel like you're too good for them and that they're going out on a limb to come towards you. So if you reject them, that's going to take a hit to their ego and they're probably going to retreat. Okay. So just so you know, the six of cups, Scorpio energy here with the judgment. Um, <laughs> so the judgment card is like literally about awakening something from the dead. Okay, this is about um, coming to a realization. This is about reunions. This is about new beginnings. This could be someone from your past because the judgment is a reunion card as well as the six of cups. Um, not necessarily so. Um, I, I, I'm picking up a new energy, but I'm also feeling as if there's a lot of energy here where uh, someone is on like someone is in someone's mind like heavily okay um i think if there's any delays or anything like those are going to be moved through quite quickly um just because this person is kind of romanticizing the idea of you two being together so if there were any like hesitation or blocks they're going to move through that quite quickly because they're romanticizing the idea of being with you so i feel like this person is almost going to come out of nowhere <laughs> okay um I think this is, I think the High Priestess, Pisces energy with the Chariot here, uh, the Chariot is Cancer energy. Um, Taurus, 
this combination so i read sexual tarot for those who don't know if 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 you do know great if you don't um definitely check out my sexual magic deep dive readings they're probably going to be released this week um if i were reading a sexual tarot reading okay this is a love reading but if i was reading a sexual tarot reading this would be about lowering lowering your sexual inhibitions okay the high priestess is very very fluid okay she is usually very comfortable with her sexuality and has the ability to um, navigate sexual situations quite easily because she's an energy reader okay because she follows her intuition so she's very fluid like it's not that she's easy to get into bed but she knows when to lower her inhibitions in regards to sex okay the chariot is about conquest chariot is conquest energy it's determination it's fast movement it's very very sexual energy okay so these two in combination um is literally giving me the message of don't be in this stingy energy this cold stingy energy here with the four of pentacles and the queen of swords okay this person who's coming towards you is quite serious okay yes they're they may come in hot with some sexual energy but like sometimes in love and romance that's kind of how it goes okay sometimes you need to get that sexual spark going before all those emotions come okay so I feel like the message here is like, don't be so freaking guarded, okay? Be flirty, be fun. If it feels right, follow your intuition and just fucking do it. Like, don't play games, you know? Um, if the attraction's there, then do it. If you feel like it's not good or it's wrong, then don't do it. But like, try to have that more carefree fluid sexual energy with this person is what i'm trying to say here this person with the with the knight of pentacles is very serious about the connection okay there's determination there's a want to explore this connection um i feel like they might want to take it they may even want to take it slow i'm honestly not picking up that they're going to want to take it incredibly slow but i do feel like this person, if they do get you into bed, they're not going to ghost you the next day. I feel like they're they're committed to the process, okay? They're committed to seeing if this connection will actually go somewhere is what I'm picking up from this energy, okay? So don't overanalyze it. Go with the flow. Follow your intuition here. Um, <laughs> and let's pull on Moonology and see if there's any more advice for you guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. If you talk to me, I talk back. Make sure you guys uh, look out for those uh, sexual magic readings. Uh, again, they're going to be out this week. If you're interested in a personal reading, definitely let me know. Um, there's an email in the description box down below. Email me and let me know uh, what you're thinking, okay? All right, Taurus, we're going to get one more piece of advice, and then we're going to close this out for Taurus. Okay. So we've got you're very close to achieving your goal. Conclusions are within reach. And we got step out of your comfort zone. So, I mean, like, this is what stands out the most to me. Definitely step out of your comfort zone. Don't be stingy with your your energy here you know just try to try to um try to follow your intuition okay that's the heavy energy i'm getting here and if you're looking for commitment with this person i feel like you're gonna get that okay um but yeah all right taurus thank you so much for watching take care love and light